How's it going everybody? So today I am going to be showing you how to retwist hair. As you can tell my roots are showing a lot and my hair is looking very messy. I'll take it out. It looks very messy at the top. So Kirsten is going to be doing a retwist and she's going to be showing you guys how to do it so you can do it yourselves at home. We're not going to be doing interlocking. We're just going to show you how to retwist with the crochet hook. To get your roots looking a lot better for uh because this happens oh, it's not just the roots though it's because they're super new and they're really new so you can see they're like really fluffy and all of these are coming out from behind so like some of them in the back especially are really kind of coming undone so i'm not going to be interlocking today but i do feel like i have to go back in with the crochet hook because we've got lots of like loose hairs yes we're gonna go a little closer to the roots as well. Maybe eventually we'll go to interlocking, but we don't have the tool for it anyways right now. And things are kind of hard to get at the moment. So eventually we might do that, but today I'm just gonna fix it up with the crochet hook and that's all you really need. Yes, and we're gonna be showing you guys how to do it yourself too. So here we go and enjoy. I kind of got these ones a little closer to his head and they're not as fluffy anymore. I'm just kind of working my way around the side and then I'll keep on going kind of section by section. So first, they're really attached to each other up here. Rip them apart a little bit, yeah. So then I gather up all of the hairs that are gonna be in this dread. So I'm trying my best not to get any of these. If you really wanted to be like really specific with the sections, you could use a comb with a fine tip and kind of crease around a little bit better. Um, but I know that you don't care if they're super even. So and I'm gathering up all of the hairs. So you can see it's really fluffy. And then I just stick the crochet hook in, start grabbing. This part kind of hurts him because it's really close to his head, but I'm just grabbing them and sort of pulling it through. And I kind of twist it around as I go. It looks a lot more complicated, I feel, than it is, as I'm really just like kind of sticking the crochet hook in and out. And it, it's got a little hook on it, so it automatically will grab hairs. But you also can kind of look at it if there's like one piece that you really want to pull in when you stick it through, you can kind of use that little hook and grab the specific hairs that you want and it'll pull them through. This one is really loose and fluffy. So you can see that's the four. Let's start to get all the hairs that I want in it. all these hairs are like not attached at all. There's like some little loops that are kind of out right here and that's probably just for me pulling a hoop like pulling some hair through and it looping and not putting it back in so i can put the crochet hook through some of the hair and i can see the hook on this side so i can grab those specific hairs and start to pull them in so see now as i go just a few times get a few extra ones just so that it stays in place and now those loops are gone there's another one here. So again, put it through, grab them, pull it. And I'm just kind of pulling those hairs that are loose into the dreadlock.
We only have five left. You can see the difference. See the difference of this side, which is not done compared to this. She's on her last one, just finishing up. I think it took about an hour. Usually it doesn't take that long, but we, we kind of let it get out of control. But you can see how much tighter it is to my head. No more fluffs. We probably do this once every week and a half. I think it, it's good. We pretty much just do it when it starts to fluff a lot, which is usually every week and a half or so. It, it's a little faster for me because I like to get my head wet pretty much every day and because they're new. So they're still not fully matured dreads yet. You guys don't have to do this all the time. Um, I just like to do it more often so they keep in and, and mature this way. I think the longer that you have the dreadlocks in general, we'll have to do it like less and less. So I've only had them for almost a month now. So we have to re this is the second time, second or third time we've retwisted them in a month. Everyone's hair is different, so do what works for you. I just want to show you guys uh, how to do it. And we are done. So you could see all tight to my head, tight roots, and you can see the difference now. So that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. All we used was a crochet hook, mm -hmm. which cost about $5. So this is how to retwist dreads at home. I'll be putting up more dreadlock updates very soon. So make sure you subscribe, check those out, and I will see you guys later.